Yeah. Shout out to Andrew Tate for, for getting all that. Um, I had a lot of people argue with me when this shit first went down that, uh, you know, I was a horrible person, all this shit, because I was taking his side and I knew that that this shit was going to come back and it wasn't he wasn't going to actually be guilty. Um, yeah, it's not all the way over with, but I still have a lot of pride in what I'm saying. Um, are any of the ladies at this table, were any of y'all on that side of like, you know, fuck Andrew Tate, like he's a horrible person, like, like he deserves kidding. being there? I don't know who he is. You don't know who he is? What about you? I really don't pay attention because I got my own shit I got to take care of. Yeah, so you, you work a lot if you're a nurse. I work a lot as yeah. well. I'm a night shift nurse. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, yeah. Too much. What about For you? me, um, it, it hits home. I'm a mom as well. Um, I have a nine-year-old. Like, I, a boy? I have a boy. Oh, okay. Um, it hits home because what he was doing, and in my industry, a lot of girls fall victim to a lot of the things that he does. What was he doing? Thank Please you. tell um, us. He was basically... Trafficking girls to his country, um, false falsifying love. Allegedly. Mm -hmm. Allegedly. Okay. Yes. Correct. Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. He was traveling them. Like he was sending, he was bringing them to Romania. And um, when they get there, taking their passports. So they can't basically return. Now he's making them do like OnlyFans, taking all their money. They're trapped. Um, it's pimping, basically. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not for any of that. International pimping. Rene renegades for life. So, so no. So like, do you, like, do you think that those women though, like, they were all above the age of eighteen? Do you think that a girl above the age of eighteen has the ability to consent? Like, no. yeah, has the ability to no. make decisions uh, for no. where I want to live, what I want to do, and all that stuff? Like, no. like, I mean, we let women decide if they want to go to the army at eighteen, if they want to get buy cigarettes at eighteen, drive no. a car at eighteen. There's all these things. That you get to get at 18 why can't they decide whether or not they can you know sell their body on the internet at for 18? the same reason that they can um go to the army at 18 but they can't drink at so what 18. so what about all the girls so that I, are only fans at 18 and there's they weren't pressured into it, it by any it don't make no sense but it is what it is but we all know because we're older adults that you're not grown at that age you're still nah, a child nah, you're, you're definitely a grown you adult can, you can make they a decision that, so but I, you're not you're not you're not aware of the world for real well, let, well so child, being yeah. being in that yeah. Is she a child? She's in not that, a child, but, but being she hasn't lived for real yet just because of her age. Well, here, let, let, well, let's let okay, take it back so first first about the allegation, industry, though, though, because the allegation is all false if you want to just go back to that. Allegation. So, like, the big we thing, though, is that... if it's false or not. It's a legend. No, you, 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 look at, the, you uh, can look at all the facts. Like, you can look at all the reports right now and everything so back, right now for it. And if you go look at everything, they have no evidence. They have a few girls that conspired against him on... Uh, and we have we have their actual text of them conspiring against him. There's no... There is nothing about what you're talking about of taking their passports. What you're talking about is a thing, but that's not something that Andrew Tate has done. What he has not age? had a girl come take so their passport and force them to say it. Girls have always been able to leave if they wanted to from What's his house. His or from but back to your question, though, you were saying, do is they he have, a good or bad person? Do they have consent? And do they have the option to do that? Yes, they do. Yes, I definitely totally believe it. And I also believe that women and men people in general can be blinded and love bombed into doing things that they generally would not do unless them, they though. believe it's still on them i didn't no, say not. it was on someone it's else but it's also not at a certain age no, when even the beyond, are hold on hold on but beyond age anyone it can happen that's like in my industry in the club a man comes in there that man can be 50 years old and not untook every dime in his pocket and now he's talking to me texting me oh i spent my life savings that's not my problem it's your problem now yeah, so it's, it's the same, the same thing. So I'm not I'm not Sorry. blaming him, but my thing is you can't put people in detrimental combines. Nah, women do it every day. Exactly. It's 18 year old. And it's and combines. Nah, they they stay. They came because they wanted to. They they came because they wanted to, and they, they stayed because they wanted they to. They stayed because of what? Because they fell for the game that y'all run on us all the That's time. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. They fell for it, and now they can't even leave. So what? He didn't do nothing illegal. No, and they're enjoy? able to leave. You can look at the CTT, like, like the CTV footage and everything. Like he's never forced women to ever stay anywhere, and that, and they and they proved that with the footage. Like they even came already they and came raided back. him and saw everything, they said and the they same were thing like, "There's nothing to do." Okay, our, our, that is apples and oranges. Facts. If you're going no, no, to try to, the same to, if you're gonna try to compare R. Thing. Kelly to Andrew Tate, somebody... Like, Joyce Lynn is still there. They said the same that thing. That is completely different things. That is a they guy who actually did really horrible say. things <laughs> to young women, <laughs> to, to young underage minors. I don't know and, the Andrew Tate situation, so don't... Well, don't, well, that, well, that, well, well, then that's a little crazy for you to assume. I don't know. I'm I'm just picking up on context clues. I told you I don't know. Well, I'm just telling you your context clues are completely wrong. Okay, tell me. Please explain. 
saying because he I, didn't he didn't he does he did not groom minors at all that's definitely not even close okay. to anything okay. so okay. that's why it's apples and oranges you can't even compare r kelly to okay. that I didn't know. and then and then like when it comes it's to what he was doing period. like like the thing is women can decide at 18 if they want to make an only fan and there's a lot Completely. of women who want a manager to do it for them Hold because on. he's going to fully walk them through to making a million dollars in their first year Sometimes. instead of making twenty thousand dollars their first Sometimes. year can we pause no uh, somebody like andrew because tate i have somebody like andrew Hold on. Degree? Can hold we on, hold on, hold on. I was talking. Hey, you interrupted me. I was, I was still talking. So the thing is, though, he he definitely is very successful at it because he has multiple women that work under him, and they all do it, and they can prove it, and they can say, "Look, I made this much." And when girls come on, they want to do it because they want the money themselves. He's not. They're not doing it just for him. They're doing it because they want the fucking money. So he's pimping. They're greedy. Huh? He's yes, good. he's. If you want to call something, it's there. online pimping, Greedy but it's not even business that. business opportunity. Who knows these days with social media? Honestly, <laughs> you don't. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, I've been approached to do OnlyFans by a manager or whatever you want to call it, and they said you don't even have to, you know, post it yourself. Just send me the pictures. I'll like post it for you. And you know, the the ones that make the most money are the ones that are more discreet and they don't show a lot. They just show like a sports bra or something. So you know, eighteen, yeah, it's it's young, but and you know, they say like your brain doesn't fully develop until you're 25 or something, right. but by law, 18 is an adult. And, you know, maybe that's a business. Opp- they're trying to get money and clout and all that. So yeah. I don't know. I do feel like Andrew Tate, I feel like whenever someone, oops, whenever someone is like speaking truth, I almost feel like they get muted. Like, oh okay, yeah. you're, you're saying too much. Like, let's like mm-hmm. bring you down. So that's yeah. how I feel about yeah, it. Let's, let's you up. Yeah, go ahead. So personally, I'll be completely honest. I haven't really looked too uh closely into anything that's been recent around him um but i will say and i will admit that at the very beginning i want to say a couple months ago um before i was aware and i actually did my own research um i did not necessarily hate him but i just didn't agree with a lot of things he said primarily because there was just a lot of things on social media that they would just cut up and make him look bad and Mm -hmm. that's the only reason why i kind of didn't agree with him um and also there is a lot of not just guys and girls but there's i mean they're both um they'll talk about him very negatively or like use his name as a way to kind of back up things that they'll say. Mm -hmm. But after the fact that I went through and did my own research, I actually completely did like a whole 360. And I actually personally really agree with a lot of things that he does say. And I even went in and did a lot of research and didn't even realize he actually did a lot of good things like him opening up um, a lot of, I I don't know. Orphanage. He opens lots of orphanages. A lot of those. And even when he was in jail, like, I remember at one point they had even asked him, like, if he had to choose whether he got out first or the women. And he completely even said that he would have rather the women um, get out first because exactly. that's not a place for women first. to be. You know, so right. there's a lot of things that he does say that if anything, like he's with women, he does try to empower women. But I just think a lot of social media nowadays is tries to paint him to be a bad picture because I will say a lot of the things that he th- that he does say is controversial but a lot of people just don't want to hear it or they don't want to hear the truth or they don't want to like um agree with him in certain things but overall personally i do i'm kind of actually glad <laughs> that he's out and i'm glad that it's go. not true because i was kind of hoping that it wasn't i didn't get scared i'm not gonna lie because even like you know the voice overs and all those like um receipts that they passionate. had against him like right. yeah like it definitely yeah. did seem believable but at right. the end of the day like i was kind of hoping that he didn't because a lot of men did get a lot of um help from him Hey y'all, Sergio here. I just want to mention I've created a completely free guide that shows you exactly how I went from having low confidence and being painfully awkward around women to easily meeting and dating numerous high quality desirable women in real life without the use of any dating apps or social media. So if you're struggling to get out there, if you have approach anxiety or don't know what to say or how to interact with women to make them want you and are sick of using dating apps with low value girls that hundreds of other guys have been chatting with, click the link in the description below to grab your free guide right now. And if you want private mentorship with me personally to help guide you every step of the way in this process, check out my mentorship program in the description too. I would be happy to help you reach your dating goals and overcome any obstacle you may face. And trust me, if I can do it, you can do it too. I hope to see you soon. Peace out.